Welcome to this channel. This video will cover Corona vaccine important updates, secret behind COVID-19 vaccine development and stages of traditional vaccine development. Watch full video for better understanding. Please subscribe the channel to get new interesting videos. Firstly, see some updates on COVID-19 vaccine development. First, around 10th of January, a Chinese scientist developed and shared a full genetic sequence of SARS coronavirus 2, the virus that negation causes COVID-19. Several companies are using this information to develop corona vaccines that will contain a small amount of genetic code like coronavirus. Second, Moderna, a biotech company, in collaboration with the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, USA, developed the first COVID-19 vaccine in human testing using a messenger RNA. But interesting thing is that it took only 42 days to move from vaccine design to human testing. In which traditional vaccine development takes years. Third, you know that vaccine development is very costly and tough job. If any developer become failed to develop approved vaccine, his all attempt will be lost. To mitigate this, CEPI, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, made an urgent call for $2 billion in funding to support vaccine development trials and enhanced manufacturing capacity. Fourth, more than 80 groups, companies, universities around the world are researching vaccines and some started human testing on March and April 2020. Some are Moderna from USA, Cansino Biologics from China, University of Oxford from UK, BioNTech from Germany, Xinjiang Genome Immune Medical Institute from China etc. Fifth, most experts think a vaccine is likely to become available by mid-2021 about 12 to 18 months after the novel coronavirus first emerged. That would be a huge scientific feat and there are no guarantees it will work. Probably you know that four coronaviruses already circulate in human beings. They cause common cold symptoms and we don't have vaccines for any of them. Sixth, Oxford University's Jenner Institute, which led clinical trials for the Ebola vaccine, is developing a coronavirus vaccine. A coronavirus vaccine being developed by Oxford University enter human testing around on April 23, 2020. Seventh, it is hard to know without knowing how effective the vaccine is going to be. It is thought that 60 to 70 percent of people need it to be immune to the virus in order to stop it spreading easily. But that would be billions of people around the world if the vaccine worked perfectly. The question, who will get priority? Eighth, lockdowns could make corona vaccine development slower. If fewer people are infected, it will take longer to know whether a vaccine actually vaccine development. We know that vaccine does not cure a disease directly rather than vaccine teach a healthy body to produce body's own arm to kill the virus. Our body's arm to kill the virus is antibody. So, imagine, you already have a viral infection and got disease, you take vaccine during this time. Vaccine will not cure your illness. If you could take vaccine before your illness. Your body could produce antibody for the respective virus and antibody could kill the virus and you could not get sick. All licensed vaccines such as polio vaccine, which are currently available have been made using a traditional vaccine development model. Traditional vaccine development takes year by year. Vaccine development take high cost, more time, labor and high failure rate, vaccine development should be started step by step. There are five main stages to develop a vaccine. First. Discovery of vaccine and laboratory or animal testing. Second, human testing phase one. Third, human testing phase two. Fourth, human testing phase three. Fifth, FDA approval and general production of vaccine. If you want to develop a vaccine, you should follow every five stages. When you proceed from one stage to another, the cost, labor, time and safety issues will increase. If you do not follow every stages, there might be many risks and safety problems. When vaccine candidate is developed, it's time to test safety and suitability of the vaccine. Sometimes it is tested in laboratory cell culture or sometimes in animals such as mice and monkeys. Let's see how animal testing is done. I explain very simply. First, a vaccine is injected in animal body. Then animal body will produce antibody in its blood in response to the vaccine. Then the animal is infected with the targeted virus. Researchers see whether the animal is sick or not. It takes one to two years close observation and continuous monitoring of the study animals. If animal failed to prevent the disease or develop others harmful symptoms, the vaccine become failed and does not proceed for next stage. Second stage, human testing phase one, human testing also called clinical trial. 
It takes two years to complete phase one. If a vaccine successfully pass the animal testing, then it is tested in human. Vaccine is tested in smaller number of human volunteers such as 10 to 50 healthy people. The main goals of phase one, testing are to assess the safety of the candidate vaccine. To determine the type and extent of immune response in human body. Researchers may use the challenge model. Attempting to infect participants with the pathogen after the experimental group has been vaccinated. The participants in these studies are carefully monitored and conditions are carefully controlled. If vaccine successfully passed, then proceeds to next stage. Third stage, human testing phase 2. It takes 2 to 3 years. And requires hundreds of people to take part in test. Some of the individuals may belong to groups at risk of acquiring the disease. These trials are randomized and well controlled. And include a placebo group. The goals of phase 2 testing are, to study the candidate vaccine's safety, immunogenicity, proposed doses, schedule of immunizations, and method of delivery. Fourth stage, human testing phase 3. It takes 5 to 10 years. And requires thousands of people to take part in trials. If the vaccine passed phase 2, then it enters phase 3 human trial. Move on to larger trials. Involving thousands of people. Phase 3 might answer the questions. Does the candidate vaccine prevent disease? Does it prevent infection with the pathogen? Does it lead to production of antibodies or other types of immune responses related to the pathogen? Fifth stage, regulatory review and FDA approval. It involves submitting data and information to regulators to gain approval for vaccines. And can take two years. After a successful phase 3 trial, the vaccine developer will submit a biologics license application to the FDA. Then the FDA will inspect the factory where the vaccine will be made. And approve the labeling of the vaccine. After licensure, the FDA will continue to monitor the production of the vaccine. Including inspecting facilities. And reviewing the manufacturer's tests of lots of vaccines for potency, safety and purity. The FDA has the right to conduct its own testing of manufacturer's vaccines. Sometimes human testing phase 4 is involved. It's also called post-licensure monitoring of vaccines. A variety of systems monitor vaccines after they have been approved. Phase 4 trial are optional studies that drug companies may conduct after a vaccine is released. The manufacturer may continue to test the vaccine for safety, efficacy, and other potential uses. Following this model, a traditional vaccine could take more than 10 years to be developed. And cost between 200 and 500 million US dollar. Okay, we have already learned the all stages of vaccine development. Now the burning question is, when COVID-19 vaccine comes in market? Most experts think a vaccine is likely to become available by mid-2021, about 12 to 18 months after the novel coronavirus first emerged. But most of the COVID-19 vaccine developers are in initial stages. Some enter phase 1 or 2. But how it's possible? To make it possible, researchers use new approach neglecting traditional one and avoid lab and animal testing in short stages of vaccine development. The final step in speeding up production of mass quantities of vaccine is early. And robust manufacturing. If manufacturing begins during testing, then a vaccine will be available to the public upon approval. However, vaccines that are manufactured before they are approved are done so at risk. A manufacturer loses significant resources if approval does not come. Or a vaccine is no longer needed in the marketplace. The more vaccines produced, the more risk incurred. If you like the video, please like, share, comment below the video and subscribe this channel to get new interesting videos. In the fight against COVID-19, the holy grail is an effective vaccine. This has sparked an unprecedented global race between scientific teams. But the challenge is not only to create a vaccine, it is to mass produce it for billions of people. Only a handful of pharmaceutical companies are able to do this. So along with the scientists, Big Pharma is also in the race. Faced with fearful citizens, so too are world governments. But what, ultimately, is the prize in this race? Is it to create a vaccine that will be made freely available to all? Or is it to control it for economic and political gain? Vaccines are unattractive to the pharmaceutical industry. They require vast funding before it is even known if a vaccine will work. So Big Pharma is not interested, unless there is public funding. Investigate Europe mapped the European public money that has been pledged to develop a COVID-19 vaccine. 
The European Commission and member states have funded a new entity with hundreds of millions of euros. The Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovation, or CEPI. CEPI was set up in 2017 as a partnership between governments, industry and non-profits, including the Gates Foundation, in order to develop an effective epidemic response. But in 2019, CEPI reversed its Access for All policy, reducing it from 13 to just three pages. Its CEO admitted that this happened because multinational vaccine companies expressed serious concerns. Meanwhile, at a global level, the UN's World Health Organization launched a landmark collaboration between countries, seeking to raise $8 billion in order to develop a COVID-19 vaccine that would be available to all. But the United States abstained. The US went even further, pulling all funding from the WHO, a move that made the Gates Foundation the number one funder of the WHO. As the global crisis unfolds, a troubling new concept is emerging, vaccine nationalism. The UK has already indicated that for any vaccine created by its research teams, it will be Britain first. And many fear that President Trump and President Xi will exploit any vaccine they may control for their own political gain. Ultimately, the question is, what are we racing for? To beat the virus or each other? To read Investigate Europe's in-depth reporting about the race for a vaccine, click the link. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.